If you're like me, then you have no idea how Arcane actually works and probably think it's one of the worst stats to level up, but I want to see if it can rival stats like Strength, Dexterity, and Intelligence. So today, we're going to try and beat Elden Ring and all of its Remembrance bosses by only leveling Arcane. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to not miss more like this in the future. Alright, we're going to start off the run by first going and picking up Trent from our girlfriend, and then we're going to go around Limgrave, Weeping, and Kaelid, that way we can grab our normal Talismans, all of our Sacred Tears, and then all of our Golden Seeds. And then while in Caleb, we're going to smack the Drissy a couple times for some runes and then blast our arcane stat as much as we can. No, that's a lot of damage! Since we did use Golden Foulfoot on Mama Grail, we might as well just go try to kill the Putrid Avatar right below us for even more runes. Alright, we got one chance to do this, boys. If we don't get it one try, we're fucked. Yeah, the scuff controller I got from Wish.com is doing as expected. But now that we have all this arcane, we do need a weapon that can bully Margit. And what better weapon than Reduvia? And while we're down here, we might as well go kill Patches because I hate bald people. And then make one last pit stop in Liernia, grabbing the Blood Flame Blade for our later weapons and bosses. And with that, our build should somewhat be able to handle Margit. Alright, let's just send Margit. Eh, fuck it. Worse than fucking Kai, dude. Ah! Fake ass Margot. I need more health, yeah. Yeah, buddy, can you not? Thank you. Look at that, dude. Alright. Wasn't even worried for a second. All right, what we should get now is we should get the jump attack talisman and then the black feather bullshit, and then we should get curved swords or something. All right, after killing Morgan, we're gonna wanna fulfill our childhood dreams of becoming Kangaroo Jack and decide to make a jump attack build for Godric the Shafted. So first we're gonna go and grab the claw talisman. This is gonna increase our jump attack damage by 15%. Then we're gonna grab the Raptor's Black Feathers chest piece for another 10% buff and jump attack damage. And for our weapons of choice, we're gonna be power stancing scythes because that would make Bushy proud. And I also saw Gino use a scythe in a video once, so if God himself used it, it's probably all right. Fucking do this. Jump attacks only, baby. for real this time first try oh, i hate rick with a passion there we go the scythes weren't even upgraded and they were shredding through Rick, so we're gonna go see if the curved swords have a similar outcome. First, we're gonna wanna go pick up the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 1 from Celia Crystal Tunnel, then head over to Aldis to grab the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 2 from the Sealed Tunnel, and after we're gonna head to Mount Galmir to grab the Scavenger's Curved Sword, and we want the Bandit's Curved Sword as well, so we have to farm this lonely skeleton and weeping for it just for a bit, and after a few upgrades, we head our way to the Wizard 101 Academy to fight Clifford and go sniff Gnarl's feet to death. Look at these nerds reading fucking books. Good Mimi. Dude, you can't do that. Oh. I hate this game. I thought these boys would be doing a little more damage. They are not. Oh, I'm gonna die. Fuck you. <laughs> You're a bitch! This bitch 
I'm coming for your fucking feet. Let me lick them dogs. You fuck! Send it in! <laughs> oh. Straight coming on the feet, dude. Them fucking dogs, baby. Could go give Verdon a try. Great damage. Or as great as I thought it'd be. Alright, that was better. No, dude, I choked it. I was trying to spam for that fucking bleed. Oh, that's cool. What do you mean, brother? I'm pressing the circle fucking button, man. All right, that's enough we're done. He's pissing me off. Radansky is currently giving me the business, so might as well try and go switch up the weapons a little bit to see if that magically turns me into something my mother would be proud of. I'm thinking we want to get the Eleonora's pole blade because twin blades are, and I quote, so we start Eura's quest line and progress it until we reach the second church where we have to then defeat Eleonora. I suck and I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna make them fall off the cliff for an easy kill. Now we got both the Twin Blade and Mog's tier for later. We then head back to Dragonborough to go take revenge on Fat Groot for his 90,000 runes. That way we're actually able to upgrade the Twin Blade and then put a couple more levels into our Arcane stat. Now it's time to go smack Radon and the Taint a little more. There we go. Uh, YouTube, I was here. Eat scrote. With Radon dead, we now unlock Nokron, where we are going to grab a couple of items that are going to really make the arcane build overpowered. First, we're gonna go bully our evil twin who is somehow unarmed. Not really sure how that happened, but after that, we get the silver tear mask, which is gonna increase our arcane by eight points. And the big reason why we're down here is for the black wet blade, where we can then put on the occult affinity on all of our normal smithing weapons, which is gonna increase blood loss while also increasing physical damage. Now we would normally use our new weapon upgrades on the next boss, but it's DTS next, and I need an excuse to put this clip in the video. <sighs> Bitch made. Easy schmeasy, dude. First try, motherfucker. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Let's just go send Morgoth. Look at this nerd. You fucking wreck, dude. All right, can we do Morgoth first try? I think so. We'll see. It'll be close.
All right, I could have done that way better. clean up until like the end right there oh uh, mm, mm. i can't yell right now get him bushy's gonna send me a text to stop fucking yelling after morgan we have some more setup to complete before we attempt the fire giant so we're gonna stay in altus just for a little longer that way we can gather the ritual shield talisman and then the starfish weapon right next to it then we're gonna head down to our beautiful girlfriend gilica that way we can grab the ritual sword talisman as well after we can now head to the mountaintops and here we're gonna make a quick stop at Zammer Ruins for the smithing stone bell bearing and then our big ticket item that we want is going to be the rivers of blood. I'm lazy in second invasion so we're just gonna make him roll off the ledge for an easy dub. And the last part of our setup is going to be getting the commander standard and then the dex talisman from Millicent. So we try farting on Neil but we get a little too greedy and we just take him over to the geysers to finish him off. We then take the needle to Millicent to finally grab our dex talisman and while we're in Kaylee we might as well go pick up Venomous Fang since I'm kind of leaning on using that for fire giant. So we're going to upgrade it a little bit and put Cragblade on it with the blood affinity just to make it that much better. Now hopefully our new arsenal of items can shred through the fire giant. We're sending this bitch. Ooh doggy. Daddy's Kinda got fucked up right there. What? What the fuck was that? We got fucked. Dude, it almost hit me again! Oh my god! Dude, this is this build is fucking crazy. Oh my goodness. That's nuts. What do we use for god skin? What do we use for god skin? Sleep pots! Yeah, we do need sleep pots. Um I don't know. We can use great stars. Great stars? Let's go get the great stars. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh wait, I need my runes. Damn it. I need so many runes, god damn. Who can I kill? Who can I kill? We're gonna go kill a deer for some runes. More runes, I need more runes. All right, boys, let's fucking do this. You better not fucking die. Come here. You bitch, I dodged. I thought I'd be doing a lot more damage. Dude, I am pressing the fucking dodge button. I forget this dude's attacks.
There we go. Easy schmeezy, dude. Give me them runes! All right, we're gonna send it with uh, five sleep pods. I think that'll be enough. Let's do this. Oh, I should have got Golden Vow and stuff. Damn it. Oh well, we're fine. Without crack blade, I guess. Hmm. This is not working. All right, occult great stars. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of eh. Try rivers. I need to send it. Hopefully they don't both spawn back in. I can just wait for him to... Alright, Rivers is kind of nice. They call it Rob. Rob. My <laughs> boy Rob. My boy Rob. <laughs> Getting the god skins. What should I use a Malekith? Oh, dude. Venomous Fang with blood. <sighs> Venomous Fang with actual- Oh no, it's the same thing, no, they get in the dead thing. It's very early. Ah, he's very weak. Very nice! Is uh, Bloody Hellas somber? Jesus hair? What does that mean? I don't think I've ever used this. And now we go. All right, let's just send it. Nothing bad has ever happened from sending. All right, let's pray. Not great damage. All right, so I can't do two R1s. Jesus, dude. That was fucking nuts. In true 99 stat fashion, we're gonna use Giant's Crusher on Gideon because why not? So we already have most of the pieces we need for the build. We just need a few more items that are gonna boost our strength to 40, that way we can actually wield it. First, we're gonna head over to Castle Morn where we will fight Leonine for the Grafted Blade, which is gonna grant us five extra strength using the Ash of War. Then head over and grab the Strength Talisman for another five and also Godric's Great Rune for another five. We're also gonna wanna pick up Flame Grant Me Strength for a 20% damage buff and Red Feather Branch Sword for another 20% damage buff. And I'm just now realizing as I'm making the video, we didn't use Royal Knight's Resolve, so that would have made the damage even more insane, but the occult scaling is already crazy on the hammer, so we just sent it. Sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but 
Oh. <laughs> that rolling bitch. <laughs> I could smell a little fear there for a second. My butthole clenched. <laughs> Fucking easy, lads. All right. That was fun. So do you know how to sequence buffs to get both of your weapons buffed? Someone was trying to teach me yesterday. Hey, two hand your left weapon. How do you two hand? How do you two hand the left weapon? Triangle L one. What? What? Bro. Oh. <laughs> I, I forgot I had I had something on because I was testing something. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, pretend like none of that happened. It was a misinput. All right. Well, let's um, let's do this again. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of damage. Colt scaling goes fucking hard. I'll tell you what. I do have to find the right times to uh, jump L1. We go again. Me motherfucker. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Don't even worry. I've never been less worried in my life. Damn, so I could put Royal Knight's Resolve on to two of these at the beginning of the fight and then get an insane hit on Horlu, which would be fucking crazy. Should we do that? Is that a good idea? We, I, I, I say we try Royal Knight's Resolve, actually. All right, let's go get it. Dude, this is fucking nuts! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, man! Too fucking easy, man! I don't know why it's not getting over. I think you have to be like right in him to for it to work. Dude, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. That's 100% the fastest I've ever killed him. Literally smelted, dude. All right, Max Arcane. What do we use against red guns? Colt balls? Did someone say a Colt balls? I mean, maybe. I mean, using the scythes, would you be using the scythes on Radagon and Elder Beast be a bad idea? I like, wouldn't be terrible. You try it once. All right, size so for the one time. Can I get a Hoya? All right, we're redoing that. I didn't like that damage. I'm telling you boys, the scythes. These are fucking crazy. Oh, I'm fucked. That sucks. All right, GG's. Or not? Is that how you dodge it? Did I just learn how to dodge? Oh, knowledge. Knowledge. I mean, I want to use it again. 
All right, let's go use balls. Let's use the balls. Man, if I, if I wasn't getting fucking cheesed. Yeah, dude, ball, balls are such a cheat code. It's actually crazy. Oh, I fucked it up. Damn. Fucked it up, boys. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Balls, dude. I mean, what more can you ask for? Clapismos, dude. Fucking clapismos. All right, who's next? Mog Spear, Mog Spear. Mog Spinning Scythe, Mog Spinning Scythe. All right. Fuck Nile, dude. Hell yeah, brother. Anything's easy with balls. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, fuck. Let's go. All right, please don't touch me in the butt. I just want to kill you guys. Can you bleed Valiant Gargs? You're like, no. <laughs> Sir, please. I'm just a girl. There we go. I almost choked it. Almost. Hope he doesn't cuck me. This fight do be fucking annoying. All right, anal beads. Gamer position. <laughs> oh man that's so frustrating oh. there we go easy peasy boys what i tell ya Schmang down him. Fucking a cold is disgusting. Alright, who's next? 
plissé du set. Dead. Holy shit. Motherfucker. Get back here. Dude, I could have got another stagger. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, that was so fucking early. That's crazy. Easy peasy, boys. Woo! Getting in that fucking drussy. How far can I stand without? My god. What the fuck? Dude, that's fucking fun. Jesus, fuck you, dude. Done. called I am choking
Get me out of here.